I'm Lucky Luzi. I'm a mathematician. I work in algebraic geometry. I was a student of Grothendieck from 1976 uh, up to uh, 2005. Uh, I was a professor at uh, Orsay, Paris Sud, and I retired in uh, 2005. Well, um, I was uh, at the Ecole Normale between uh, 59 and uh, 63. And uh, 63, 64, I attended the last of uh, Carton seminars, which was, uh, which was a, a joint seminar between Carton and Schwartz. And uh, Carton uh, proposed, uh, at the end, proposed a topic for a PhD, or test d'état, uh, at the end, and I started working on it. And um, in the course of uh, 64, I had already obtained a few results, but I had a few questions that I didn't know how to, to tackle. And uh, Carton suggested that I should consult the most, uh, the, the be best uh, expert uh, at the time, which was Grothendieck. And uh, then I came to the IHES one afternoon, and uh, I think it was in June 64. Uh, I met Grothendieck. I uh, explained my questions. I listened to his very long answer. And at the end, he said, well, you see, uh, you will work in my seminar uh, in the fall. OK, uh, but I don't know much. Oh, you will learn. So then I became uh, his student, and uh, I worked uh, in his seminar. Uh, he advised my, my PhD, which I defended eventually in uh, 1971. Uh, so that was my first, uh, somehow, uh, introduction to the IHES. Well, uh, Botedic was very generous, very gentle to students, and uh, gradually I learned uh, algebraic geometry and I learned uh, what he had done in AGA and uh, SGA. I uh, wrote, uh, uh, wrote up uh, some of his uh, expose and discussed uh, reduction with him in detail. And I learned, uh, I learned the job, and uh, he was a fantastic advisor. Uh, and uh, later in 66, 67, uh, we together with Bertolo, and under his guidance, we uh, organized a seminar, SGA 6. That was a marvelous time, I remember. That was sometimes this, this period where mathematics uh, with Groton Dick were exploding uh, were described as some golden age in. Uh, in mathematics, at least in uh, algebraic geometry. So uh, Grothendieck left uh, uh, IHES uh, in 1970, but I kept a strong relation with uh, the IHES because uh, De Ling uh, came to the IHES uh, first as a student. He was also a student of Grothendieck. Uh, I think it was in 1965. Um, and uh, then later, he became uh, a professor there. And uh, first when I was at the CNRS, and then later when I was a professor at Orsay, I attended uh, his seminar in the 1970s until the, the final seminar, I think in uh, maybe 82, 83, something like that. So strong connection uh, with the IHES. And of course, with Ofer Gaber uh, after uh, 19. Uh, uh, 79, in the early uh, 80s, and when uh, he arrived. And uh, all the, the, the professors, uh, visitors who came to the IHES uh, at the time. And uh, still, uh, my one of my most uh, memorable uh, experiences was, uh, and was when in 2005 I, I retired, then there was a conference in my honor. Uh, which uh, title, whose title was uh, Between IHES and Orsay. And so uh, I remember that the party, for example, was held here at the IHES. So a long, uh, long relationship. And then after that, uh, a group de travail, a seminar with Gaber and other people. So a long and continuous uh, relation with the IHES uh, up to now. Yeah, so Ophir Gaber is a, 
of course, one of the, the, the strongest uh, uh, best mathematicians in the world, specialized uh, in uh, uh, algebraic uh, geometry and arithmetic geometry, but uh, he knows much more. So uh, he's a very important figure. Maybe I should say some emblematic figure of the IHES now. Uh, so he arrived in, uh, in the early 90s, uh, uh, 1980s, and um, last month uh, he turned 60. And uh, I'm organizing, I'm co-organizing a conference in honor of uh, Ophel Gaber in, on the occasion of his birthday. Uh, which will uh, take place uh, next week at the IHES, and uh, that will be, uh, which will be the one of the four events uh, celebrating also the uh, 60th anniversary of the creation uh, of the IHES by Mochan in uh, 1958. So it is simple. Uh, algebraic geometry is the, the study of uh, 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 mathematical objects uh, which are described by uh, polynomial equations. So let me just give a, a very simple example. You draw two perpendicular lines in the plane, so the, co the coordinate axis. So you have those two lines. And then, so this is the geometry, and the algebra is xy equals 0. So you have an equation and you have a figure. So uh, algebraic geometry is about that. And of course, m slightly more complicated examples. <laughs> so uh, of course, it's a very deep and strong and lasting uh, relationship, uh, especially because uh, mm, from the creation, the IHG has the most important figures. Uh, that came there. First, that was Dieudonné, and uh, he invited uh, Grothendieck, who was the, the rising star. And uh, of course, Grothendieck uh, uh, revolutionized the, the topic, and uh, people from all over the world uh, came to the IHES to see what was uh, going there. So, uh, algebraic geometry uh, was the, the, the a central point, uh, side of the sun uh, in, the, in the mathematical uh, world. And uh, so in the, in, in the world, then the IHES and algebraic geometry on Grothendieck became, uh, became the center. And uh, it continued uh, uh, with uh, maybe to a slightly less extent with uh, the Ling Seminar in the, in the 70s, but still there was the proof of the, the Vay conjecture. So an enormous aura around algebraic geometry and arithmetic geometry. Uh, and then this is still a very strong, uh, strong uh, area. There are other uh, uh, colleagues at uh, IGS working in different areas, but algebraic geometry is a permanent and very strong uh, uh, field there. Ofer Gaber, uh, first I, um, I discovered that uh, in when uh, um, preparing the edition of uh, SGA5, I discovered that he had worked out some problem of Grothendieck, and uh, I saw that someone by the name of uh, Gaber Ofer had uh, proved uh, something very difficult. And I wrote a footnote that uh, certain uh, uh, G. Dot Ofer had proven something. And it's only that later that I realized that I, it was a mistake. The so first name is Ofer, Ofer Gaber. So anyway, uh, I met him in, um, in 1979. Uh, he was uh, somehow arriving in France. And he visited IHES um, occasionally, several times during the early uh, 1980s. And uh, I met him at that time. And, uh, we discussed uh, several points in uh, mathematics. And then uh, continuously, I uh, discussed with him. I asked him uh, his, uh, his advice, because uh, he's so, so reliable. You know, when he says something, you can trust him uh, completely. Uh, there is no, no problem there. And uh, he helped me correct many mistakes, uh, sometimes also suggesting a development. So he helped me a lot. And, uh, 
in the up to now and uh, we had also a very strong period of interaction in the uh, after uh, I retired in uh, 2008 up to 2012 uh, working on the group de travail a seminar uh, around his work at the Ecole Polytechnique but I visited him here several times and uh, we discussed a lot and we are still discussing a lot now. Well, uh, he has contributed to many parts of mathematics, but especially in algebraic geometry, of course, and especially in etal cohomology. So I would uh, single out uh, two results. One is the purity on uh, goretzky mcfersh and intermediate cohomology, or purity on intermediate extension, which is an, uh, an old result, uh, 1981, I think. And uh, much later, uh, his results on the local uniformization and um, finiteness in uh, uh, et cohomology over excellent schemes, uh, which was the topic of this uh, uh, group de travail we discussed uh, just a minute ago. Uh, uh, so this uh, resulted in a very thick uh, asterisk volume of maybe uh, 600 pages, uh, and certainly this is one of his uh, uh, most important results. So that an, that's an interesting point because uh, actually, as I said, um, I was a student of Henri Carton at the, the beginning and uh, Henri Carton uh, worked mostly in uh, homotopy theory and uh, analysis, uh, analysis on the function of complex variables, uh, the shift theory around that, and it's not in analy analytic geometry. and. Um, it's only uh, when I met Grothendieck that really I, I shifted to algebraic geometry. Of course, I had had uh, interest in that, in uh, homological algebra, in the uh, parts of uh, algebraic uh, geometry. I was uh, starting reading uh, um, the third volume of EGA already at the, the Ecole Normale, but it is really the, the, the thing that uh, I uh, started my, uh, my working and uh, was uh, really my encounter with Grothendieck. Well, I think it's uh, quite similar to what um, all mathematicians... Uh, so what, uh, what pushed me uh, uh, to continue to do mathematics? That is your question. So um, I think it is uh, mostly what... Uh, uh, how most mathematicians uh, feel. Uh, you see, uh, one day you you just observe something, you you find uh, um, a result, and uh, it turns out that uh, it is new. So you well, I, come on, I have discovered something new. So you are so so happy. So I remember it happened to me when already when I was working with Carton and later with Grothendieck and. Uh, somehow you, you think that uh, it might be isolated, but no, it continues. And sometimes it fits uh, within the program, of course. But uh, it, it's uh, punctuated by uh, those, um, those discoveries somehow, uh, those observations. And uh, sometimes it's deep, sometimes it's already known, sometimes it, it, it may be false. But this is how you, how you work, and then it's... Uh, constant uh, stimulation to go to go and, and see further well I think uh, probably the, the most beautiful uh, um, thing in the world I, I don't like to say theory or construction or I don't know it's, it's a beautiful thing it's a, it's a, about thought, about uh, art, uh, about uh, uh, many things, and uh, it concentrates what uh, maybe uh, mankind uh, has done of, of best, I think, uh, during uh, uh, history. It's um, the, the, both the, the, the most uh, beautiful thing, uh, I think, that has been achieved. Uh, some compare with music, uh, compare it with music and literature, but it's, um, I think it's a, a quintessence somehow. Uh, we met in, uh, I think, in 1968. Uh, I vividly remember 
uh, when uh, we first met. Uh, we were having tea uh, in the uh, in the lounge in the in the IHS, and um, uh, I was discussing uh, with uh, Pierre de Ling, and um, I saw in a young uh, uh, young man uh, talking with the uh, very uh, 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 with ease and. Uh, and precision and incredibly uh, um, mm, uh, easy way and an, an impressive way on very difficult questions in mathematics. And he looked so young and I asked uh, the link, but uh, who is this person there? Oh, yeah. oh you don't know him, uh, but it's uh, Nick Katz, uh, he's from Princeton. Ah, oh. so then I, <coughs> uh, of course, I, uh, we were introduced, I started discussing, and uh, that was the beginning of a friendship which uh, lasted uh, until now, and it's, it's we are still very good friends and uh, often discussing together. <laughs>